Good morning, everybody. It may be afternoon when you watch this, but welcome back to Jailbait and Tackle Outdoors. I was tagged in a 40-question challenge recently, uh, two or three days ago. Uh, unfortunately, I was working a lot of hours, and it was hectic, and yesterday was my first day off, so I tried to do a few things, recoup, but I'm addressing the 40-question uh, challenge. And I was tagged by A. Lynn. Welcome to my kitchen. And this sounds fun. Usually I don't participate in things like this, but what the heck, you know, let's get on with it. So question number one is, do you have any pets? Uh, no, I do not have any pets. Uh, I like pets. I love dogs. Um, cats have kind of grown on me at times, but they have to be uh, like a cat has to be interactive and vocal, not just lay around and be a freeloader. <clears throat> but yeah, I do. I do like pets. Um, am I in a relationship? I am in a relationship with poverty. So therefore, I do not have a relationship with a female. So that's that. So uh, do I drink alcohol? The only thing I drink that I do like to drink is Coors Light. That's it. I don't like any other kind of beer. I don't ever do wine any type of hard liquor or nothing. I see too many people do stupid things when when they drink hard liquor and stuff like it. It just doesn't appeal to me. Coors Light's all I, I will drink. Um, so we're moving on to number four. Do I believe in God? Uh, most people know, know that answer already. Um, and for the people that are new, I, I don't believe in God because I've lived 61 miserable years. And I don't, if there was a God, I don't think he would uh, put somebody through the kind of crap I've been through. That's going to be controversial to some people, but these are questions directed at me and I'm answering them honestly. Hot dogs or cheeseburgers? Definitely a cheeseburger. Um, I, li I like both of them. I'm, I'm not like, like, I'm not going to go out of my way to go get a hot dog or a cheeseburger. But if I had the option on the grill, I'm definitely taking the cheeseburger. Um, favorite food? Boy, that's that's a tough question there. I'm kind of like a, uh, I'm an old-fashioned steak and potatoes guy. You know, I, I like that. I do like, I do like me some shrimp. Just did videos yesterday about shrimp. So, tough question. I'd say steak, a nice steak cooked over hickory. So that's the answer to that question. Um, what do I drink in, in the AM? Well, my routine has been the same for many, many years. I usually get showered. Other than today, I'm kind of slumming it today, feeling a little bit on the lazy side. But after, you know, I shower and get prepared, I go to Dunkin' Donuts every day. That's the only coffee I can drink that I like, that my body can tolerate. Uh, I do not like any other coffee from any other place. So that's all I drink in the morning is uh, Dunkin' Donuts coffee. <clears throat> can I do 100 push-ups? Yeah, uh, years ago when I was younger, I used to be a fitness freak. I mean, I used to, I like, like, I was literally OCD about fitness and running and lifting all the time. I used to have a lot of strength. I wouldn't consider myself like the strongest person, even, you know, in my heyday, but I was very physically fit. So back back in the old days, 100 push-ups was easy. I could sit down and bang out 300. It wouldn't be a problem. But uh, this question pertains to today. Can I do 100 push-ups? Uh, not all in one set right now. I kind of neglected physical fitness and stuff like that. Uh, there's a little rabbit here looking at me. These little rabbits are so cool. I feed them little baby carrots. And I know I'm getting someone said squirrel or rabbit, and I'm off on a tangent. But these little guys, they, I literally talk to them, and they'll look right at me, and, and it's funny. They're like, they're almost domesticated. But anyway, so uh, the push-ups. I could probably do four sets of 25. I, I, I'm pretty confident I could not bang out all 100 at one time right now. Uh, but with a little practice, I, I'm sure within seven days, I could probably make that happen. Um, <clears throat> favorite season. Now, this is where people are going to say, G-Money, get back on track. 
my favorite season is football season. It's not fall, spring, winter, autumn, or anything like that. It's football season. And nothing else comes close. Football season. Uh, favorite hobby? Uh, a lot of things. Like Basically, my, my new favorite hobby, as most people know, is YouTube. Uh, then prior to YouTube, me discovering uh, YouTube as a creator, it'd probably be crabbing. I love to crab. Uh, that's... That's a good you know way to relax, but you can't you can't down here you can do it pretty much all year round. But where I, where I grew up up north, it was a seasonal thing, basically July, August, September. Uh, do you have any tattoos? I do not have any tattoos. I don't plan on getting any tattoos, and just it's just not me. Do I wear? <laughs> There's now the two. These rabbits get territorial. They they fight for. They have like a little shade spot under the bush, and these two were going at it. One was being the alpha male, and or whatever, and chasing off the other one. But they tend to get. It's fun. I've never seen rabbits fight before, but they they can they can get after it when they when they feel threatened or whatever their deal is. But uh, do I wear glasses? Yes and no. Uh, I'm supposed to wear glasses. Uh, I never wear them. I have them in my vehicle in case I get pulled over. I can throw them on real quick because it's uh, it's one of my restrictions on my driver's license. But uh, yeah, I have a hard time seeing things at a distance. And lately, uh, I'm, sometimes I'm having a hard time reading uh, things in print. So I, I should wear glasses. I just don't ever do it because I'm, I'm self-conscious and stuff like that. And so far, I'm, I'm getting by without them. Do it. <laughs> They're out there chasing each other, having a battle out here. They're territorial. They they want to be next to G Money, and the one's trying to fight off the other one that wants to get next to G Money. Uh, do I have any fears or phobias? Uh, yeah, I mean, my biggest fear is, and, and it's I've I consider myself to be like macho and. But this one thing really ticks me off is I have a fear of heights and I get real dizzy when I get in heights in certain situations and I cannot control it. It's like vertigo or whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, uh, probably fear of heights would be I mean, I can I can I've attacked that numerous times in my life trying to um, fight it. But it's it's as I get older, like I really get dizzy and stuff like that. Like A Lim was talking about escalators, and in recent years, I do have sometimes problems with escalators. Um, I don't like to admit that because I feel like it, it reveals me as a weak individual. But that's the truth. Um, do you have a nickname? G Money. Depends who you talk to. Other people have nicknames for me. Probably can't say on this platform. But uh, favorite candy. You know, when I was writing this list down, I was thinking, because, you know, I, I'm not like a super, super sweet fanatic, but I will tell you one candy that I love. It's so hard to find. It's very rare, but it's a sweet candy, and they're called bottle caps. And I love those things. Oh, my God. I, I There's... I could eat them all. You know, you could put a truckload in front of me. I'd eat the whole damn thing. Um, do you believe in ghosts? Uh, I don't, I'm not like obsessive about it or, you know, really, but yeah, I, I, I believe in ghosts. Yeah, I do. I believe there's spirits out there and come back for certain reasons. Um, number 17, rain or snow. I hate, hate them both. I grew up up north in Delaware, and it snowed all the time. I moved to Virginia in the mountains. It snowed all the time. Even though the town I lived in, there was two towns that bordered each other, uh, hot springs and warm springs, and there wasn't a whole lot of hot or warm up there. It was a lot of snow all the time in the mountains. So um, I don't like snow, and I don't like rain. Rain is kind of vital to growth. So... And when you live down here through Category 5 hurricanes, you, you know that rain's not a good thing. 
But I guess if I had to pick one or the other, I guess I'd take rain as long as it doesn't doesn't come with a Category 5 attached to it. Number 18, any piercings? No. Nope. Not into that. Not getting that. Ain't playing that game. Age. I, uh, today is July 31st. Two days ago, I just turned 61. July 29th was my birthday. And it's the end of time is coming soon. It's I can't believe how fast these last 10 years have, have gone, but how how long how long am I gonna make it? How long is everybody gonna make it? You know, I don't want to be 80 years old and crippled or have dementia or anything stupid like that. But here we are, 61 years old, just crushing life, just crushing life. Uh, French fries or onion rings? Well, I really like onion rings, but I have a digestive disorder and they they don't sit well with me. Uh, I like french fries. And but if 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 I was healthy and I had to pick, I definitely would take the onion rings all day long. So hopefully that answers that question. Do you have any children? No, I do not have any children. I do like kids. I like I like children and I just thought it was going to happen in my younger years and it never did. That's another story. For uh, that'll be another that'll be a story time story. Uh, favorite color? Well, I have something. It's called a color deficiency. A lot of people commonly refer to it as color blindness. Uh, very few people in the world are actually 100% color blind. It's different degrees of color deficiency. The most common color deficiency people have would be a red green deficiency. I can see reds and greens. It's just the, the closeness in the shades that becomes a problem. Uh, so my favorite color is blue, but getting back to the color deficiency, it said it's been reported and documented by medical experts that 7% of males from European descent have a color deficiency. And I happen to be in that 7% category because I'm from European descent, another thing. Uh, affecting my life. Can you sing? Hell no. Can't sing. Don't even try to sing. Uh, can you whistle? Not. I can barely squeak out a whistle. I'm not even going to pretend to try and do it on here. Uh, I can somewhat whistle. You know, if, if my life depended on it, I'm probably going to croak. Uh, <clears throat> where were you born? These questions crack me up. I was born in a hospital. Where, where are most people born? I'm born in a hospital. But if you're talking about what city and state, I was born in Wilmington, Delaware. The, it was called the uh, general division back then. Uh, now I think it's called the Wilmington Hospital. Do I have any siblings? I have a half brother you know, who lives in Lake Placid and no other siblings. I did have some uh, I guess you would say stepbrothers and sisters through uh, marriage, one of my dad's many marriages. And uh, the Cicero family, I really liked. They were really cool people. And so that answers that question. Can you cook? I love to cook. You know, being uh, having some French in me, uh, you, you kind of learn to cook. You, you And you learn you have to eat. There's not a food out there probably ever eaten. I've eaten snails, horse meat, sheep's brains, you name it. I've, I've eaten it all, tripe, uh, all kinds of stuff uh, growing up, you know, spending summers in France on my aunt and uncle's farm. Uh, you, you learn to cook, you learn to, you have, you're kind of forced to eat whatever put in front of you. There's not like you have options, but I think I can cook. I, I haven't done, a, I used to do a lot of cooking videos at my old residence, but it's very hard to do cooking videos or uh, in this HOA community where I'm living with my mother, they don't allow any grilling. Some people do do it on the lanai, you know, it's, it's technically a violation of the HOA rules, but um, I think I can cook. I like to cook. I, I'm not a big fan of cooking for other people because I don't like certain spices do not agree with me. 
So I cook to my taste and I don't think I could be a professional cook, uh, you know, not really like a chef or anything, but I do like to whip up meals. And I'm, I actually have something in the crock pot right now. It, to me, it's a real easy meal. Anybody can do it. It's I got a big can of sauerkraut, put that in the crock pot. I put about a half can of beer in there, a splash of cook, cooking wine. I put some frozen seasoning mix, uh, a little a bit of uh, piggies to rub. I put some thyme in there, a little sprinkle of Old Bay, and five bratwurst. So it's just beer brats is all it is. And the the bratwurst were a little bit frozen. So I'm going to slow cook it for a long time, make sure it's fully cooked. But can I cook? Yeah, I can cook. Nobody else is cooking for me. So um, I think I'm an okay cook. I wouldn't say probably the greatest, but sometimes I do bang out some good meals. Uh, can you swim? I can swim. I wouldn't call, you know, I'm not Michael Phelps or anything. Um uh, our high school in Wilmington, Delaware, put out some uh, Olympic swimmers that were really good. Uh, Bruce Gemmel was one. Uh, another kid, I forget his first name, Erickson, I think. Forget his first name, something Erickson. But we had a real, real good uh, background in our high school with swimming. I was never on the swim team or anything like that, but I can swim in France growing up as a young kid. You learn to swim and stuff like that. So, yes, I can swim. It's not something I go out of my way to do. And uh, shower or a bath? What would you prefer, a shower or a bath? Well, I haven't had a bath in forever. And I, I would like, you know, I'm, as I get older, my back gets sore sometimes. I get like spasms in my back. So I would love to take a bath haven't had one in forever. Uh, probably been a couple of years. The last time I was in a hotel room or something like that. But I do like to take a bath, you know, because you know, as you get older, you, you sometimes you just want to sit and chill. So I prefer a bath. Yes. City or nature. I do not like the city. What one bit I've had to deal with it. I had to work in it and stuff like that. I, I prefer nature hands down. Uh, are you a good friend? Depends. Like just a, like a Lynn said, that is it's all what other people think. You know, I, I over the years I have a very I, I keep my circle very very small. Uh, I think there's a handful of people that I think I'm a good friend to. That's for other people to judge. Uh, any broken bones? Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, too many. Um, I just did a video recently that I talked about one of my fishing injuries. My finger was broken. It was kind of laying over. <laughs> it was going the wrong direction. It snapped and uh, broke my ankle, toes, fingers, uh, busted my elbow, catching a shoplifter. Yeah, I've had quite a few of those things. Um, how many TVs? I have one TV, have not watched that TV since the hurricane. So that's basically been 10 months. Um, I don't really have, act. there's a little small TV in my mom's room. There's a tiny TV in the other room, the other person. So I, I haven't really watched TV in, I won't say exactly 10 months, but uh, when I was homeless, living in the van, I would go to a, a, a restaurant, use their Wi-Fi, and watch a little bit of football. But, I, yeah, I like TV. I, I thought I would miss it, but now I'm addicted to YouTube. So, um, number 34, worst pain ever. This one stands out, like, Different people answer this. I'm going to talk about like physical pain, not emotional pain. I'm going to talk about physical pain. Uh, back in 1998, I was in a football league in Baltimore. And I I severed my Achilles tendon. And I, I passed out. I blacked out. And that was horrible. That was the worst pain uh, I was bull rushing off the end 
I get somebody that had a lot more weight, but back then I was really strong. And it, my my Achilles, when it, and it snapped, it severed. It was a complete snap. It sounded like a pencil breaking. It was really loud. It hurt so bad. And I'll tell you exactly what it felt like. It felt like someone picked up a boulder, threw it on the back of my left leg above my ankle, and I remember when I was going through that motion, bull rushing that guy, it hurt so bad. And I couldn't, I could not believe somebody did that to me. And I remember looking back and nobody was there because I wanted to see what, who threw this boulder on the back of my leg. And I passed out and I came to, they called the paramedics and stuff like that. And once they put this air cast on, I was, I was good. There was all this pressure. What happens, your Achilles tendon, it, it acts like a uh, broken rubber band. It would curl up, and that's what it did. It curled up into my upper calf. And I heard the paramedics talking. I heard all the people at the hospital talking, and everybody was said it was a torn Achilles, and they knew that. And so when the doctor comes in, I said, look, we all know it's a torn Achilles. I said, just let's just get let's get to that problem. They said, no, we have to test. I said, you can do whatever test you do. Don't touch, don't do that. So what they did was they had me uh, roll over on my stomach, have my my leg in a ninety degree, and the way they test it, they literally put their thumbs on your calf and they pump it. If if you're if if you have any connection of your Achilles, your foot would 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 respond. My end, they pumped that. It hurt so freaking bad. I was in the ER at a Catholic hospital and I was F bombing the world. And my friend's uh, father was there. He's like, Gary, calm down. No, I F everybody got F bombed. It hurt so bad. And then they're like, hey. You have a torn Achilles tendon. I'm like, no crap. We all know that. Why did you? They're like they subjected me to so much pain that was without a doubt the the, the worst pain ever. So now I'm going to get to uh, number 35. Do you like to dance? No, I mean I would. You know, it's not something I go out and do. You know, when I was younger, I used to be real limber and. Do, like in college, I used to do break dancing and stuff like that, or, you know, a little intoxicated. Yeah, you know, I used to like, I, I haven't danced in a while. But uh, camping or a hotel, that's funny because I love to camp, but it's Florida. Right now with the heat index, it's it's been averaging about 105 degrees, give or take, every day. So it's really hard to camp. If I had a nice camper, something like JJ drones just got or, or any type of camper that came with a AC or something. I would love that. I, I enjoy outdoors, but the extent of my camping has basically been a $30 dome tent. So I like to camp in the winter time. I love hotels. I, it's something about going to a hotel uh, every once in a blue moon. I haven't done it in a long time because my finances do not permit it right now, but I like to go on a, what they call them down here, staycation. I, I I really love a place in Estero called the Embassy Suites. They they put, it's just so clean. It's They have a nice uh, open bar from 4 to 6 p.m. They have this beautiful buffet in the morning. It's not a continental breakfast. It's a true breakfast a buffet with chefs, and they'll, they'll make any type of breakfast food you want. So um, that's tough. I guess it depends on the season. Uh, if it's like in the fall, I would prefer camping. I do like a nice hotel. So I probably didn't fully answer that one. Depends on the season. Uh, do you think you're weird? Oh, hell yeah. I'm weird. BS crazy. And a lot of people would probably agree. <laughs> How long have you been gardening? That's funny. Uh, pretty much my entire life, you know, when I talked about my aunt and uncle in France, they, they live in the mountains and they have a lot of livestock, mostly sheep. They probably have 4,000 sheep and 
and they always had rabbits, pigs, chickens, you name it, stuff like that. But gardening was a big thing too. They, they grass, grass, G R A S S E is the perfume capital of the world. That's where my, my grandmother lived and my aunt lived about three kilometers away in a little place called Peminad. And I was forced as a kid, basically forced child labor to harvest jasmine flowers every morning. And that was a real pain in the backside. And they, re, they, they, they bloom overnight. So it's a never ending process. Uh, so I, but uh, when I was younger, I did two different tours working on a DuPont estate as a groundskeeper uh, required a lot of uh, grass cutting, a lot of big gardens, like big gardens. I would say three quarters the size of a football field. We had everything you can imagine in there. Okra, squash, zucchini, string beans, green beans, uh, you, you name it. We had it. So I've always loved gardening. Um, I'm not really like a, a flower gardener, but I do like produce uh when i when i have done my gardens i do like to put marigolds around the produce and it's supposed to be a deterrent for some type of uh, insects and such um i've been gardening for a long time ever since i was a kid if i could grow one thing in a garden what would i grow boy i'm pretty simplistic i mean it's hard to just i mean tomatoes is number one to me god i like to have a nice selection of tomatoes i enjoy uh growing red and green peppers they don't really agree with my digestive system but something about them they look cool they taste good even though they don't agree, agree with me um i haven't done a whole lot of potatoes I like that. So maybe to answer the question, naturally, I'm definitely going to go with tomatoes. I, I like a good variety of tomatoes, but potatoes, I haven't done a lot of that, but I, I like potatoes. So, and that was the answer to the first 39 questions that I was challenged by Aileen. Welcome to my kitchen. So now number 40 is to tag five creators for this uh, 40 question challenge. So here they are at Shade Tree America. That would be Chris. He's in Pennsylvania at Shade Tree America. He's a very busy individual. So he may not be able to get to this for a long time. I know sometimes he has connectivity problems. He's also, uh, he's a new FedEx delivery driver, which re requires long hours. So if he gets to it, he gets to it. But if he doesn't, he doesn't. But He's number one on the list. Number two would be Jason Johnson at JJ Drones. JJ Drones, all one word. Uh, so I'm challenging him. Also, his sidekick would be Dan, the droning veteran. So droning veteran, that would be Dan maybe. So that is the third channel I'm tagging. And number four would be Brian from Cheesehead Media. So that would be number four. And number five, somebody I haven't really been very interactive with lately just due to life chaos would be Sunfish King. So those are the five people I am tagging and challenging to answer the 40 questions. Thanks for inviting me to this challenge, Aileen, and hope everybody appreciates the honesty of the answers. May not be what you want to hear, but... It is what it is. Thank you all for tuning in and talk to you next time. Peace out. See you soon.